In this video, we're going to create uh, this image of the model with a dress all kind of floating behind her. And we'll composite this from multiple shots. So I went before and I identify that is I, what I wanted as my main shot. And it will be this one. I like the pose here. And uh, behind you can see I have an assistant photographer who kind of flopping the long tail of the dress around and we have it all these different elements of the kind of what we sides look good so i'm selecting them and we'll go to cut off and kind of paste to create kind of more interesting look um this is not cg usually sometimes you can do in cg this material but i think it's come up very well very very natural when we done shots in a studio and shot was done on a Canon R5 camera with um, 24105 lens and usually this is was on um, aperture I think it's 11 f10 yep it was f10 usually I shoot on this aperture so it's give me a little bit more depth of field and primarily with the dress you can see how far we want to go one sharpener we don't want total blur so we want to have it as much depth of field as possible set up on the lights we have it one main you can preview lights going from this photodiox deep um, dish going from this another one photodiox was going from the left side to highlight some of this um, textile cloth behind and i have it another one's round just up front to control shadow so it's three lights set up background um gray kind of break breaking not solid gray but mix and this is work very well when you do compositing or other things because you can blend very well those elements um, it's very nice background by the way for the compositing if you want to use it so from selecting elements where I may use some of this um, cloth I'm just looking on a, like right here probably this side will be using a left side and of course our hero shot this is where she's standing you can see it's kind of empty in this areas so we definitely want to add some elements this is what i've done before and right now we'll do um, some other shots but maybe similar to this maybe not we'll see what's come up because how say it is um will be probably a bit different because i probably will use some different elements but idea of this we'll go and recreate this and see how it was done so for this we'll just go and hold down control key or command on a Mac I'm going to select all images that I want to open to process them in um, as a batch because I want them kind of look similar to what and we're going to open inside the camera raw um, while it's opening again it was shot on R5 with the F10 and 100 ISO shutter speed 125 on 125 so right here we open one thing let's look i'm working with the 16-bit deep channels and adobe rgb color space uh, same what's set on my camera on the bottom we have it all selected images one thing we want to be sure we'll hold on one click shift hold on the last so we select all of them in this case meaning all the settings what we applied it will apply to all images so we'll have a kind of consistency things what i want to do is take highlights a little bit down because i want to um kind of be sure our won't be overblowing whites and mostly it will happen like in a crown because we have a jewelry the very high high reflective glass so we want to be sure we don't overblowing some elements here um, and as well sometimes on the material we may have a problem as well so same things we want don't lose some of that information because we've done this we want to bring also our sharpening a little bit about 70 80 to restore in camera into Allison and uh, by taking highlights down usually our skin color going very flat to restore a little bit we'll go an orange color and just restore a little bit back color on the skin again that is will be for our hero because all what we concern in other ones it just these elements of the um fabric around here okay we be sure it's enabled the remote chromatic abbreviations and user profile corrections when we're done let's go ahead click open and we should have it all of these images now open inside the adobe photoshop okay right here our image is preloaded before continuing let's prepare our hero shot and this is um 
I like the pose, how it's a set hands. So this is, will be our hair shot. If we look, we can see definitely we'll have it, our assistants on the background and a box of box right there. If you cannot see very well them, you can always go and try maybe use a selective color, bring a little bit white so you can see right here definitely um, elements. And we can go fix those ones. Okay, let me go bring maybe a little bit out more. So we can preview. We can do this with the curves. Doesn't matter what you're doing. This is only so we can see some elements we need to hide and remove it. Um, before we actually fix, I would like to give them same type of color that around um, elements. So it will help after when we're using um, patch tool to pick up in the same contrast rate. So for this, be sure we deselect colors. We have it, our brush selected. I'll go and uh, let's select, create new layer. Okay, we'll put it right there. Let's go call it fixes. Hold down Alt or Option, select one color. We can go with 100% and I'm just one paint over around here so we'll just select this one same we'll go with the legs a little bit um, below we can select a little bit, little bit brighter kind of matching colors don't worry about too much about this again that element probably here will be all um, kind of done overlook um, overdone overlay with the cloth in this case okay let's go to enable to preview now we can take our tool Okay, let's go control shift alt e command option alt e to combine create new layer um i go it's our main so this point i want to re-enable so i can see um tool selected we want to be sure what we're we going to do so okay and now we can select some of these elements cop copy and drag just put it right there a little bit So we can have a little bit um, similar texture what we have it in other areas. We don't need to worry too much about this, but it will help us. Okay, also I notice right here was a little bit piece coming out. There you go. Okay, we can go re-enable. Okay, that is look about right maybe just we're still missing a little bit right in around this area okay i think that is good again remember we don't need to worry too much about this because we'll put it some other elements but it's help us um let's look a little bit on composition so what i was meaning uh framing right now we'll go and create crop tool and if i go with one side i can preview how i want place i'm just a little bit expanding in all uh, areas okay just a little bit up and down right here god i don't know this one may be too far let's go bring closer we always can change afterwards i want to be sure it says content aware is enable okay when we're done let's go ahead okay so extension done we can uncheck there and preview if you have any problems like with elements we go back and those ones is very easy to fix. Okay, let's go over here a little bit. Blurness on this one. Yeah, I think that will work good. Okay, that is our base. So at this point we can go into the other segments and see which one we want to take from here. So one, let's go work on our right side and you know maybe i want to expand this a little bit more to the side i think it is a little bit too close so we're going to okay select here expand here put a little yeah let's go put here kind of on the middle i think that will work a little bit better and we always can crop in but this is will provide for us a little bit more um, room to expand the cloth to um going on a side a little bit Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have right here. This is, I kind of like that element. So for this one, we'll just simple take our tools and just go around like this, copy, 
and we'll just go paste it here. Let's go to position adjust. Okay, that is look kind of okay. And this time, right now, you can actually start playing almost, see which one you kind of think will work better in some areas you don't necessarily need to do. Or um, follow exactly the same. This is more creative steps, but like I'm putting right there and I know it will go behind. So we'll go Alt Option, create mask, black mask on this. We'll take a brush. Let's go with 30% set right here. And it's won't be sure it's a soft round. And we can start kind of painting a little bit. Um, we'll can pop up a little bit higher after, but I want just a softer little bit around these areas. Okay. Now let's go white again. And we'll go with 90%, a bit more harder in this area. You can see it's very actually easy to blend in this case. Uh, the one thing I was going with the lower around this opacity because I don't want to overwhelm with the uh, two bright lights. And even we'll fix after with a dodge and burn kind of. We'll add a little bit more of that. But it's still kind of nice from beginning if you do this the right way. Okay. Um, if we step over a little bit, we can always just fix, go back. But right here, you can see we already have a very nice um, elements extended. So it's not just a cut off. Okay, um, let's go see what else we have in this case. We have it also right here, nice element. We not necessarily will go to use all of them. And overlap, just go over a little bit more. Copy again paste we'll see if this one will work kind of see how it's look a little bit flatter so we maybe want to go put it around here okay let's go like maybe right there and the nice things about cloth that okay yeah i think it's just around maybe right here this if you have a hard time to see you can take a past a little bit down so you can preview where you're placing and i'm just looking um, let's say this way. So right here, you see how it's look nicer. And if we look on this, it's look a little bit flat blob. So this is what I'm trying to kind of blend in, create a little bit better um, texturing in this case. So we'll go there. Let's go to uh, 30%. And what I'm doing, I'm pressing key one, two, three. Actually, it's nice with the brush. You do know the shortcut, but it's work very well. Watch right here. We have the opacity 30. Yeah? If I press one number, it's a 10. If I press twice fast, it's 11. So 30, 40, just pressing one number. It's best way very fast to learn uh, to do switch opacity of the brush. And because I'm using mouse, I don't use it uh, pad. Even I have <laughs> too many pads, maybe. Um, but because I work a lot of with 3D graphics and then in that uh, Vicom pad not necessarily work very well. So it's the reason why I'm using mouse. And for me, it's very important to switch a very fast opacity. Be sure it's uh, not a pressure sensitive kind of. So and for me, this shortcuts is very nice. And it's same thing. So you can just press one, two, three to do this. OK, so we add a little bit replacement. I can see before and after. I think it's look just a little bit more interesting here. Let's go see what else we have here. OK, this is definitely more interesting below uh, bottom one. So we'll go select. Let's got like right here. This element copy. We go paste. And you know what? I think at this point, I'll just copy paste bunch of them so we can preview. And after this, we'll see which one we're going to use, because I think this one, I do like how it's looking on the bottom, but we'll see. Maybe we have something better there. OK, this is will be our bottom ones. Let's go see right here. Um, maybe like a little bit on the side. Let me see what we have. Now, this is look very good. I don't want to touch here. Um, so this is part is fine and this is a little bit messy no nope, we'll skip on this one. Oh, right here is way nice i like how this look but we same we have another one so we'll compare see which one has come up very good also um i think this one's look kind of interesting so let's go ahead 
copy paste on this one. So I we can always cause a compare after see which ones will come up more interesting in this case. Okay, here, let's go look this one kind of look interesting, but a little bit blob. And I think currently these ones look interesting. We can we could add a little bit more to the end, but I think this is just good. Okay, let's go ahead right here. This element we'll see. Maybe we can use something around there. And let's see this one. Oh yeah, I like this one. So let's go grab that definitely this one. Um so I'm just going to grab around big area. Oops. Like right there. Okay, and paste. So we can probably just go around here. Okay, I'm expanding. I'm not sure about the top right there. We'll see how it will work, but I think it's okay. Let's disable, put this on the bottom. I kind of like how this come up, so we'll work with that first. Okay, Alt or Command Options to hide, and we'll just go start painting in with 50%. So we'll just paint in that one first. Okay, let's go a little bit closer. Uh, careful right here. You see how it's going with the legs? So we'll probably want to take and maybe try to match a little bit. Like right there. So it will be easier for us to uh, blend afterwards. Okay. Yeah, we can right here. See how where it's cut, we'll put a different cloth there. And where's a hand? We need to kind of hide a little bit. Okay, go right there. Let's see what we have up here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this on the top with the going hand. We could somewhat use a little bit maybe, but I think we can have better ones. So let's go hide this away again. And we'll just add more strokes. I can think like a cloth, how it will go. There you go. Okay, let's go to hide around here. And a little bit on a hand. There you go. You can see cut off. Uh, for this one we can start looking on different. For example, this we can bring closer like maybe around here. Okay, let's go for press hide. Take brush and brush in with the right color, of course. We'll just brush in slightly there and maybe positioning kind of around here. Okay, let's preview what we have. Yeah, I think just a little bit right there. Okay, let's go switch our brush to hide because we don't need to display all of that. Okay, right here and hide our step ladder and maybe take one percent so it's lower and blend a little bit more the edge so you can see how we can expand creating this interesting look um, this area let's see if we have something better for the top Oops. I don't need to grab this I want to grab this one and I'm just looking okay um, see right on the bottom look a little bit blob empty so we can grab put it this one by legs okay I'll click on this 
Okay, and start painting in here. Okay. We don't need to put too much, just add a little bit detail so it's look more interesting, not just a dead black space right there. There you go. It's kind of um so this top one, I'm not sure how it will look, so let's go ahead and look. This is our original and it's actually look okay darker there. So we'll add one side. So this one, let's let's see what we have. Okay. We'll hold down shift and click so it will hide. I'm just want to preview if this one is blob, if it's working well, maybe you know what this element I don't like it. So let's go ahead, X and hide a little bit here. How the lines, you see how the line going? So it's what we try just maybe follow this line. Kind of and going into the dark a little bit more. Okay, 10%, same. Hide a little bit more blending on this edge. There you go. So kind of get hiding in the dark. I think this will work better. Okay, so we have it right there, this one, and I also see on the top, which I don't want. Okay. Let's go right here. We'll just hide that one. Let's go back. Bring back a little bit. Let's kind of bring back this color. And we have right there a little bit hands so I'm overpass on purpose so I can preview where it's going. And again, we can re enable and you can see how it's all going. Okay. And this bottom, this bottom again. Let's go see what we have. We have any more kind of interesting on top, but I think we're already good because we're going in a darker kind of area to stop in this. Okay, so we have it piece right there. I'm looking on the this side top and I don't like how this one come up. So this one may be kind of going, but again, it will be too much overwhelmed behind her head. We're going, we can go and try always get this, um, this kind of up and try put this one in. But problem is as how it's pulling, it's look a little bit unnatural in a way. You know what I mean? This kind of going up, but we can try. Let's go bring around here. Okay. Let me run there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Make a mask, black mask. We'll go with our tool. X, uh, it's mean white color. Let's see what if we do just like this going. Well, this maybe work. Let's zoom out and see. We hide the hand. Okay, let's go bring this up before and after. And I'm not sure if I like this one. Uh, we could do and we could just bend a little bit more. Yeah, let's do this way. So we'll go right here. You see we have a hand. Let's take this hand and Okay, I want to be sure I'm selecting on a mask. Black color, so we'll just hide this hand away. We don't need that anymore. Okay. We'll add a little bit more solid to these areas. Oh, we don't need hair. It's kind of start cutting off in here. There you go. And we can do this edit transform. Let's go to distortion. And we'll just can go on kind of actually I think we need warp for this. 
So we need to use the warp because I want to bend a little bit this way. There you go, kind of almost like yeah, uh, bending slightly out. Kind of leave it position with lines. And pull out. So we're done with this. Let's go ahead and take a brush. Switch to the black and Right here, we have a lot of hiding out need to be done in this area. Yeah, let's go right there. Okay. So I was looking to see if we, how we're going, and I think this is actually working well. So we hide this area. We can just a little bit more hide around here. Showing it's long behind kind of materials. Okay. Okay, also we have in this area we definitely need hide. And there you go. Okay, so this will look a little bit in. Let's just take overall this and hide it just slightly in the dark. So it's kind of almost vanishing like a fire going behind. Okay, I think that's look better. Let's go ahead, connect all of them. Okay, cloth, and we can look before and after. So you can see expand, just create a little bit more interesting, I think, effect around. Um, now we can ready work on the scenery itself. First we'll create new level uh, layer. Let's go call it city touch and we're going to take just simple healing spot brush. Okay, we don't need anything complex in this case. And I'm just going overall see if I find small things like maybe right here just a little little bit touch up, not too much. We want best perfection is in perfect stuff so I'm just want to remove some of the sparkle stuff maybe um, overall what I'm removing it's elements where my eyes kind of start going first and I know they're not doing anything to the story so it's what I'm doing just kind of cleaning up those elements that does not do anything to the story but I want to keep it some imperfections there okay let's go look around so that does look good Okay, we have any elements right there. We have kind of this line going. It's a little bit too strong for me, so I'm just going very fast. Hide that line. And of course, we're grabbing a little bit chain. In some cases, it may be better if you have a special sampler select for these ones. They're different healing brush, so we can going about that. It will work right here. See, we have line. not bad but it's just a little bit distracting and that's what I'm try to remove some of those um, wrinkles that is very artificial wrinkles okay I think that is good let's go look very fast in the hands and we have right here notice we have something coming up in this area and sometimes a little bit hard to find which layer. So I like to create another mask just on all cloth and it's good time just to clean up also. So we're going to set like zero, 100% and we're going to clean up all just on our main character. So we don't have anything going to have face or other ones so we'll go right, like right there cleaning up there you, go. you can see how it's just slightly clean um, okay, before and after you can see just clean up make a little bit look nicer I think in this case 
Okay, we have it already touch. Next, let's go smooth slightly and Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E on a Mac to take all layers, combine them, and create a brand new layer out of this. And next, we're going to our brush. Okay, and we want to smooth. So for this, we'll go filter, noise, dust, and scratches. And the uh, amount probably 23 should work, but when you see this kind of recognize almost like posterized things, this is what we needed. Let's go click OK. Next, we're going to, as soon as it's done, hold down Alt or Option, click on a mask, create new mask. Uh, let's name it Smooth. So we'll smooth this layer. Okay, and we're going to come closer to face now. 10% soft wash, white brush. We just start kind of smoothing in a little bit on our skin. All what it does, it's remove high, uh, those high frequency noises. It's remove some of the um, on a face. So kind of like you can preview kind of almost. Okay, so we're going. And you can see kind of, I think I mess up a little bit with the painting. So let me redo this. So I delete, Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E. Let's go call it smooth. We'll go to filter, noise, dust and scratches. We'll just do again very fast. Okay, on that one. Okay, now we hold down Alt or Option, click. Enable now, we want to be sure our mask is selected, white brush, 10%, and we can start smoothing. There you go. I think I accidentally was selecting the wrong layer to do this. So we're just removing some of those details. Okay, we don't want to remove all of them because we want to preserve skin to skin kind of another stuff, but it does help creating this somewhat painting effect to us by reducing amount of details on our painting. Okay, we'll do right there also. Let's move some elements. Be sure her hands also we want to be sure our skin on a model in every areas it's look exactly the same so we don't want it to um, undo it. And I'm looking right here we have some blob where does it come from? Let's see Nope, it's coming from other areas, I think. Yeah, it was original, it was there, and it's uh, behind her. So what we're we going to do, we're going to fix this with our um, mask. What we did it. Okay, let's go ahead, reduce. Okay, come closer. We have our brush set. Let's go with the 20%. Okay. Preview. Oops, on my mask. Yeah, so I already paint. We just need to see which one area we can utilize for that. Okay, let's uncheck this one. Yeah, a little bit darker than the other ones. We could also come back after and fix, but I think this is um, from original image. It's where we have see her waist kind of going, but I think some other ones come up from there. Um, we can fix this actually. Let's create new layer and call this fix. Okay, and what I want to do is just select cloning tool. We go select a darker color. It's nothing wrong with this, it just uh, kind of take attention eyes, and that's what I'm doing. If it's unnecessary blob that take attention, we want kind of maybe hide a little bit. And you can see it's a cloth, definitely it's cloth behind. So we just want like kind of hide here. 
little bit darker with the cloning okay there you go I think that one should work for us now a little bit better okay so let's go ahead zoom out yeah it does not jump I think that is a there you go it's a little bit better fix for this okay so we smooth this area we can also if you like um, in a smoothing you can also select the brush white 10 percent and you can also smooth in some area cloth if you think it's a little bit too um, too much of those lines again smoothing will help create this kind of look somewhat artificial kind of like painting okay well smooth for your legs a little bit there you go okay let's zoom out just move a little bit in this area definitely we need to move ground slightly so, uh, this is kind of a nice techniques because you can take areas with a high noise and reduce the noise with that as well okay uh, let's go ahead control shift alt e command option alt e go ahead create brand new layer and this will be our hair okay for the hair we're going to filter stylize oil paint so we'll go to select with oil painting and we'll go stylization 10, clean as tail, scale 0, 01, and bristle tails. You can play with this. And so it should be that work about 1.2, 1 1.5 around there it should work very well. Um, we're ignoring everything except her hair. This is what mostly we're done for. Uh, but if you think its cloth will look also benefit from this, like maybe some of these areas, you can use that as well. Um, if it's too soft, usually what I do, I'm going to the sharpness and I apply a sharp mask to this to create higher contrast between um, white and dark. This is will pop up a little bit, make stronger. And of course, we have Alt or Option, click and hide, create our layer. And now by using brush, we can brush back in areas where we want it. So like mostly with your hair example. I can go closer you can see how the hair look a little bit messy and that's the reason um, we are perspectively think about hair is straight lines in Photoshop and because how it's photo shooting in a camera all those combinations it's also create cross um, contrast lines cross the hair which is make us look hair broken and not clean or other things so what it does this filter what we're doing right here it is remove some of those horizontal lines and going along the hair length so it's look like almost it's cleaning hair because just removing those lines um, i don't want to use it everywhere but i do like use it in some elements if i had artificial flies uh, fl flowers um, wigs work very well to blend wigs right here with the school um, work on a fur work very well and in some cases it's made work well on a cloth as well so it's what we I'm just try maybe in some elements add a little bit to the cloth and because it is applied over all layers it will help blend a little bit other layers so I don't want to apply very strong everywhere just a little bit touch up run so it's kind of creating you can see it's add a little bit painting painting kind of effect to our scenery um, after this I think we are ready to create dodge and burn layer and we'll just fill up with 50% gray 100% opacity you can do it without the fill up I just usually it's what I do and kind of follow my uh, workflow We'll switch once to soft light. Soft light is contrast mode, so 50% gray is invisible. And now we can use it white and dark black to um, work a little bit more on the shadows. So usually I start with the shadow. Be sure it's soft 10% at least if you work with mouth. Vicom pad will be maybe a little bit different. What you said, your pressure sensitivity on. But right here I'm just add a little bit shadows. 
around. Let's go two on the nose. We'll just add a little bit specular lighting to her nose. Make it come up kind of more interesting. Also specular lighting on the chin. Can pop up lips slightly. There you go. That's my notification that I need to calibrate my monitor and it's almost due time. Um, by the way, I do use it a spider calibrator for to be sure the colors is accurate on my computer and it does on my monitor and it does work very well for me. So if you have it, questions, I think I have even a video about calibrations. Um, in some cases it's necessary, but also what I recommend if you want to be sure it's look nice in other areas in another monitors, be sure just use it different monitors and I have a very cheap monitor that I'm previewing on as well. Um, my work session have it about right now three monitors, uh, four Ks and they set a little bit differently so I can preview on different um, resolutions, different also medias, see how the different people can view differently this. But it does help when your main monitor is calibrated so you can know you receive correct colors and so on. Okay, I'm just touching up a little bit of lightings. Let's go to add a little bit lighting on the ground. And usually I create different layer layer for this and probably will should do this. So this is dodge and burn actually, you know, DB. So we know it's a model. Okay, when we can create second one, fill up with 50% gray. Um, let's go switch to the soft light. And this one will be dodge and burn environment. Okay, so it's a round. And I'm just going to kind of going around her dress. So we'll just put in here. Let's go switch to the white, add a little bit more light around here. Again, this is our main model, main thing. So we want to be sure we're kind of keeping attention on her. So this is our tool. Um, by the way, when you look on the image, the it's look three dimensional, and three dimensional does not represent by color. All what it does is representing by black and white, by luminosity, brighter and darker colors, uh, not colors, sorry, levels of the black and white. So this is what representing shapes and is based again on our personal experience, um, how we preview. But overall, you can, if you have a hard time with like dodge and burn, give it proper shapes, you can switch to just black and white. It will help you to remove some of the coloring information and focus precisely just on the shapes itself. And I'll just add a little bit black and white here. Let's see. Pop up and I will use this as a luminosity level just to bring some elements up if I need it. Like right here, we're done with this. We'll go to set luminosity and you can see how it's brightening up. And now of course I enable and use the opacity on this level. I can see how much one luminosity on this. Okay, so we'll go stop around that area. Okay, next let's add a little bit grain over and this is help us when we do compositing and we do smoothing and other stuff like on her skin. This all elements will have a different grain. Same when you do any scaling from different like upscale, downscale, it will change the grain as well. And sometimes when we look a little bit closer, it's honestly look very artificial does not look very well blending it's look of course like down from different sources so the grain would help us it is um unify this so we'll have the 50 percent gray and we're going to um click on the filters noise add noise we'll just go with some lower like 10 percent only noise switch the soft light and if we look closer you can see we have this grain kind of added it's probably a little bit too much so we'll take about maybe 50 percent down just slightly we don't need too much green but we want something to help us unify together 
think I think it's look good in this case. So let's go ahead, work with our selective colors. We use it for one purpose, but I want to reuse this layer now to um, blend with colors. So we'll do black, maybe about 5%. Let me just, oops. Yeah, neutral. Let's go restore neutral to zero. Okay. So we'll have zero on this one. We'll start with the black. And black is too much, so we'll take maybe about five, six around there. I want don't want to have too deep shadows, but I want um, bring, but I don't want two highlights. So maybe even like three probably will work better. Okay, let's go ahead, and I'm going with the colder kind of settings in the shadows. Okay, and warmer with neutrals. So we'll just bring bring a little bit up too much right here and a little bit warmer so it will have it kind of playing on the different palettes you can always try to play around and see which ones work better for you okay we'll go right there let's go now we can play with different colors so like for example this is our magenta we can add a little bit more deeper color to our magenta warmer kind of going this way yeah i think that one will work better okay now let's go i think a blue also is there we can take blue a little bit more deeper again yeah and again warmer so you can play you can see how much we have ability to modify which is actually very cool um if it's too strong you can always control overall global effect as well so just go bring around here Okay, it's kind of look nice, except I think I want to add a little bit more of the dodge and burn. So I'm going to create one, take a brush. And because we applied a little bit on the selective color, which is also remove some of the shadowing. So I want to um, add some shadows. A little bit more like right here on this area. Be sure it's going to work with our new lighting so i'm just going to add like around there lighting so also remember we have it we can control depth kind of a little bit with this and add around there and on the bottoms as well Okay, I think it maybe even selective color is still a bit too strong. So we're going to go break, bring back and just go in the shadows and the blacks and maybe put it to like one, not three. So there, that one will be a little bit better. And neutrals look good. A bit too much yellow. Let's bring back a little bit. There you go. Okay rest um last things we need to do we just go create name let's go just type and, and i usually had before like vladimir chopin photography now i just also add fine art photography and just to clarify because it's more than just photography it's actually digital art that's what we're doing it's when you're creating um, and in some cases people diminish says hey you know what um, if it's not traditional media it's not art it's totally wrong I'm sure when if Da Vinci had computers he will be work exclusively on a computer so it's just matter of the tools and we have the better tools which is help you to less focus on the how do you mix how media work less focus on this details that take away your creativity focus with the new tools that allowed you to more think express what you have in your mind with easier tools instead worried about do you have money to buy oil expensive oil painting or canvas and what kind of and so on so it just i think it's better um, new ways better express but it does no way it's diminish it just expand more your creativity i think okay so right here we're done with this image let's go just take all of this group together we'll go retouching 
and that is what we have before and that is what we end up with so hopefully some of these ideas will give you something uh, more inspirations help you to create some other elements but overall it was a fun project to do um, and also adding all of this different cloth just make it more magical i think more interesting thanks for watching these videos um, if you like it please give it thumbs up subscribe put those notification let know when it's new videos is out and your support at patreon is greatly appreciated thank you all patreon supporters um, without you it's kind of very hard hard to produce those videos